Elastic Pitch is a pitch shifting plugin that allows you to change the pitch of audio without having to worry about any of the artifacts that are normally associated with pitch shifting. This allows for sharp transients and clear vocals without any phasing artifacts whatsoever. Let's start by going through the interface, and then we'll look at a couple of real-world examples. As you can see, there aren't many controls and buttons here. Elastique is extremely simple to operate. The most important part of this plugin is this orange circle right in the middle. This is the main pitch control. It allows you to change the pitch of the signal by dragging up and down, and the formants by dragging left and right. We can also use these sliders. Right now they're linked, so the pitch and timbre will always be equal. Clicking the link button allows us to set the pitch and timbre to totally different values for some really great effects. These values can be set anywhere from 50 to 200% or minus 12 to plus 12 semitones. If you prefer to view these values in semitones, just click on the percent signs. We can also enter the values indirectly by double clicking, allowing for maximum precision. We can even use the pitch wheel on a MIDI keyboard to control the pitch. If the pitch and timbre are set to different values, the input menu gives us the ability to focus in on specific frequencies when shifting the timbre of the audio. There's also a handy preset menu with a bunch of really useful presets, which we'll get into in a second. Finally, you can switch up the look of the plugin between light and dark. Let's jump into some real world examples. To start, let's take a look at this film I imported into Pro Tools. And you better close the door. The audio seems slowed down. That's because I changed the frame rate from 29.97, or 30 frames per second, to 24 frames per second. We can use the Elastic Pitch plugin to fix this. In fact, there's a preset for this specific change. We can select it here. I didn't think it mattered. You see, I expected to find you wretched and lonely, grappling with your complexes. Rather than you can adjust the pitch and timbre a little bit to get it just right, but to my ears, that's sounding really good. Now let's take a look at how Elastic works when changing the pitch of an instrument. Why? I'm in love. Now, love. I've got a song here, and the bass, guitar, and piano are all in the key of D. I want to add this horn loop to the song, but it's in F. Right now, it sounds terrible. I have to pitch this horn part down. We can easily do this using elastic pitch. I know I need to come down three semitones, so I'll change the fields to show semitones, and then drop the pitch down by three semitones here. That sounds much better. Now let's play with the timbre. See how much it changes the character of the horn? You can use the input menu to find a setting that will avoid any artifacting that might occur from changing the formants. Highest frequencies works great for this example. What if you want to pitch the horn up instead of down? Moving up to D means jumping up 9 semitones. For most plugins, this simply wouldn't sound good. But that is not the case for this one. The Elastic Pitch plugin from Z-Plane is perfect for any pitch shifting situation. Open up your favorite browser and navigate to zplane.de to learn more about this fantastic plugin.